Hello friends! We are in Los Angeles. Oh, Michael Whitman's is open. What is that? Okay, I'm under a tent that's trying to fly away. This is your chaos vlog coming to you from the Los Angeles Fabric District today. We have Maria and Hannah with us. And uh, we decided to come since we're all vaccinated and see what the deal is here. We are currently on route to Starbucks because I have heartburn and I need milk. So that's the closest we're gonna get to that. Uh, but then I'll be touring you around the area again to see what is and what is not still available. See you soon. All right, I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but I've already seen some things that I am not pleased about. Fabrics and Fabrics looks half the size. We're gonna go over there later. Uh, we're hitting Home Fabrics first. Is there a way that I could show this building? We are in Tex Carmel. It is still good. Tex Carmel has lots of linen. This place is good for that and lots of silk. I don't know what this is, but I kind of love it. We walked so far to come to Be Black and Sons, which is this like, let me get in here, amazing tailoring store. So you guys can see that. Yeah, I really want to be in there. This is a note. Would you like to see our sad face? That's my sad face. I'm so upset. This is like the third place we've come, no second place we've come that it's like no. So, boo. Okay, we're trying to figure out what the name of the store is that we're in here, but man, I'm in this giant supplies store. And I have a pile of items that I'm going to try out. Here's pre-waxed thread. This is crazy. What is this thread made out of?
Okay, that place was called Ace Sewing and Sewing Machine Supply, and it is um, like down the street from where the fabrics are. And so uh, it's a pretty interesting place to go if you want tools. They also have uh, sized uh, dress forms, if you're interested in that. Some, some things in there seemed really, really inexpensive, and some things seemed normal price. So I think it just sort of depends on what you're looking for. Yeah? Should we do this? Is this a thing we should do? Yeah. Like what up? I'm so sad this used to be this sparkly fabric rave store and now it's whatever this is. Boo. Um, decorating. Nope, I'm wrong. It's all the same size. You my house. I don't have enough room in my house to have dark a bunch of dark gray linen and a bunch of black linen. Look at this. <laughs> that cannot happen. So Hannah just went, Noel, you just bought a bunch of black linen. Doesn't this fulfill the same purpose? And I'm like, this is not black. No. Do not this... tell the internet that I think that is black. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you all heard her defense. This is slate. <laughs> and that's a completely different piece of linen. I'm not arguing what color it is. No. Uh, You're not yeah, she is not arguing what color it is. She's okay. just arguing, don't I have enough fabric? And we all know the answer to that. <laughs> Thank you. Alrighty, so I think I might have a sunburn. Oh, um, I have lotion on. Uh, okay, what's your review? My review is that Fabrics and Fabrics continues to be amazing. My review is that also. I was wrong, it is not half size. I was completely wrong about that. It's the same shop, it's great. I dropped 500 bucks in there. <laughs> and Dane Home Fabrics. So I bought all of the linen. Yes, you did buy all of the linen. Uh -huh. Like anytime she would pull out a linen, I'd be like, give me that. <laughs> Like, I want that. And I'm like, okay, give her two yards and then I want the rest. Thanks. Um, so I have a lot of linen now and I bought some stripey silks at Home Fabrics. Did I buy anything else? I think I had one other purchase. Oh, I bought another thing of linen. A lot of linen. There's a lot of linen. Yes, multiple, multiple linens. But I live where it's hot, so I feel yeah. like that's a good call. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm set forever. I never need to buy fabric again. And Everyone hold me to that. crazy poly. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, she bought a poly that is absolutely stunning, um, and we c I couldn't tell that it wasn't a, that it was a poly. I totally thought it was cotton. Yeah, props to the store owner for admitting that it was a poly because well, he absolutely could have charged me ten dollars a yard for it. Yeah, he gave you a really good deal. Yeah. Um, when we get home, I think we should burn a little chunk of it and just see. Yeah. We should a do a burn idea. test. Okay. Well, there'll be a burn test. Yeah. Okay. Be back later. Oh, we're going to a Tim Burton themed restaurant tonight. Yes. So if I can film. I will film, and if I can't film, then I won't, and so I'll just, just cut this out. Tim Burton music. And yeah. Interlude. <laughs> I'll put a picture of Tim Burton here. <laughs> okay, we're in our car. After that scenario, Hannah's shaking her head. It was not great. It was not great. Do not recommend zero out of ten. Actually, we're giving it one and a half out of ten. One point for JoJo, who was our waitress, who was bomb. Like, sweet baby angel. Sweet baby angel. <laughs> she was so nice. And half a point for some good drinks. No cocktails, just like a well-mixed Shirley Temple. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, this is my thoughts on it. Mm -mm. The food was weird. There was literally one song that was played at like volume 400. That was a Tim Burton themed song all the other music was just like random, random like 2000s music yeah and then like at crazy volume like we couldn't hear each other and then occasionally interspersed by 
um, live performances. live performances in pseudo Tim Burton dressed up character people, but they were not also Tim Burton songs or the songs from their characters. They were just like random. random they did song. sing the Time Warp. <laughs> like nothing about that place other than like a uh, Nightmare Before Christmas style montage in the like, or what is that called? Diorama with like on the hill, except it wasn't even like it was just plaster. It was weird. That, there's nothing else that was like really that Tim Burton theme. No, <laughs> that's just a no. Like sad hot topic goth. It was sad hot topic goth restaurant with like very mediocre food. Like I described my my chicken dinner as, have you ever been on an airplane? <laughs> so it was okay. Like the chicken was actually okay, but like yeah. yeah. Even the dessert was weird and not very good. It was just ice cream. It was like, yeah, it was just ice cream, so. We're gonna go with no on that. Do not recommend. Do not recommend. All right, well, um, we are gonna go antiquing, which I may or may not film for. If we go to the, we are going to the Huntington Gardens, Huntington, li Huntington Library. Library, but there's gardens there, which is why I'm going right there. How many gardens did you say? A lot. A lot, I think she said something like, in the teens of gardens. Um, so. I don't think I said teens. Okay, she does not <laughs> think she said teens. That's what I heard. Um, I Maybe I'm making that up entirely. Anyway, so um, if it's beautiful, I will film there. And if it's not, then I will cut this out. Actually, I won't. I'll just leave it in and then I'll be like, yeah, I didn't film that. <laughs> um, I will film a little haul for you when I get home about all the fabric I bought. Okay, okay. Who was right? Go. There are 16 stunning themed gardens. So Noelle was right, but I didn't say it. I was fully wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, okay. You must have looked it up. I didn't though. <laughs> I just magically knew yeah. somehow through like um, osmosis of the universal knowledge of the Huntington Library and yeah. its gardens. I think the actual library is closed but there's some exhibit and then also, and more, most importantly, the gift shop the is gift open. Shop. <laughs> we are in the Long Beach Antique Mall. So, gonna check some stuff out.
Guys, this place is nuts. Like, super nuts. There's also a whole bunch of stuff in here that is like, not okay. But, <laughs> uh, so much crazy, cool, interesting, I would never buy this, but damn, somebody bought it kind of stuff. Just like, So many items. Hello from under my hat with a face covering and sunglasses so I could really be anybody but now I can only be me. We are at the Huntington Gardens. Okay so it's lovely here. This is the Chinese garden and uh, from my limited to be fair experience of China it's legit. <laughs> it pretty much just looks like this. Um, so I'm going to take some montage business for you guys. I hope you enjoy the Huntington Gardens. We have found the most lovely bunch to sit under, which you're not getting as good of a view as we are. Under willow tree. It's nice and breezy, 72 degrees. This is like LA showing off its finest. I understand building gardens here. We're in a gallery looking at folks.
friends, I'm legitimately just showing you the clothes. So I'm sorry if I'm mutilating your view of this art, but I'm here for the dresses. <laughs> I am back home. I apparently just stopped filming. Who would have guessed? But that's what happened. Um, so I didn't film, I guess, a bonsai garden and maybe a couple other little things. Oh, the Australia section, which looks remarkably like Southern California. <laughs> because a lot of the plants in Southern California are actually like weeds <laughs> brought in um, from Australia, like the eucalyptus tree. Uh, those are not native to SoCal. They are native to Australia and were brought here. Anyway, um, so that's basically what you missed, but we, we hit the highlights of the Huntington Gallery. I definitely recommend that if you are in Southern California slash Pasadena and you have time, go hit up Donington Library. It is amazing and really beautiful and it's just a lovely day. I think May was a great time to go. Um, sometime late April, early May is a great time, I would guess. Uh, it might get really hot in the summer. It might be really pleasant in the, in the wintertime, though. But there is a nice breeze. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not subscribed to me and you will get notified of any future videos that I might make. I have already filmed that haul and I will have that coming along this week for you so that you can see all of what I did. I'm like looking around because it's all actually right in front of me <laughs> and I'm like, oh, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I don't actually have places for any of the stuff, so cool. Anyway, that'll be coming your way shortly and I will see you guys next time with another vlog. Bye guys.